Hey guys, I'm on uh, Linux Mint 7 and this is a 64-bit uh, RC release and it's pretty good to me. I, I didn't have any problems with it. Um, so let me go into um, what I said before last time about Linux Mint. I still think this is the best distro for uh, new users because almost everything there is, you know, there for you. The flash, the codex, so there's no problem, okay? So that's what I dig about uh, Linux Mint. Just make it easy for me. <laughs> that's the basic goal of uh, Linux Mint, okay? So whatever I said before, it still applies here. Um, I would still recommend it to uh, any user, um, but mainly for, you know, new user because, like I said before, um, it's easy. It has all the, the default stuff that you, I would probably install, okay? So that's that. Now, back to what I said before about the Mint install. Um, it doesn't load all the images at one time anymore, so that's great. That's updated, okay? You know when you click on a new one, they actually just download up here and up here. See? Download the, the, the screenshot, so, so that's great. But they still don't have the checkboxes like I was complaining last time. There's no checkboxes. Now that's annoying because look at this. In the feature applications here, what they doing here? These motherfuckers here. Look at this. They have the check boxes. Where's the one over here, huh? Really? Who the hell wants to go one by one? Install and then do it again? No, that's slow. So this one does not beat the 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 add and remove in Ubuntu. No, because it looks better, but it doesn't do the job. It slows me down, actually. You know, and that's why party pooper. You know. Uh, but you know the updating the the screenshots really quick. I, I dig that. Uh, other than that, it's not really uh, that great to me. Uh, I still use the Synaptic, okay. So that's that. And they do have some new stuff. Um, some of them I'm gonna talk. The other ones I really don't care about. This one is what I like about is the Mint Desktop. Now this one replaces uh, to me uh, Ubuntu Tweaks because that's mainly what I use Ubuntu Tweaks for. Is uh, cause I you know I can use the gconf editor, but I don't remember the fucking thing. So this one is great, cause you can go you know check what you need, and you can do the composition layer. I think uh, the meta cd one. I think this is it. Okay, uh, you know like same thing you do in uh, Ubuntu tweaks. So if you see all this crap here over here, you can actually uh, unmount it, um, or never show it again, and apply, and you see it's all gone. So that's what I like about that. It replaces uh, the Ubuntu Twigs. I don't ever need that shit no more. Great. Okay. And let me see what else they have. Oh, they, I, I don't think I ever talked about this, but this is what uh, separates Mint from Ubuntu. Uh, clearly, okay, because uh, they do have these uh, default programs that they made. The Mint Backup, the Mint Update, the Mint Nanny, uh, Mint Install, of course. Uh, the Mint Nanny is usually for, um, you know, parents that don't want their kids to go on certain sites like maybe MySpace, Facebook, or some porn sites you don't want them to go to, and you just add it in, okay? Add in the, the you know, the WWW, whatever the hell it is, and uh, they'll block it. And that's pretty much uh, what the Nanny does. Uh, Mint Update, of course, and the Mint Backup if you want to back up your shit, so... So that's mainly what the programs have. And they give you a firewall too, I believe. If I remember where the hell it was. Um, oh, there you go. Firewall configurations. What the hell is in here? Oh, there we go. What is this shit? GUFW. Okay, that's the program for firewall. I really don't even use a firewall. Uh, I'm not that paranoid. Okay, and that's it. That's mainly uh, the programs that's different. And if you have, <laughs> if you have um, uh, your wireless doesn't work, you use this one, uh, the end, and this wrapper. But uh, that usually sucks, anyways. Uh, so that's the main difference between the 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 Buntus and the Mint. They the Mint they actually have their own shit that they made. Okay, um, so that's it for that. And I do have something that I like here. Let me see. Is the X Chat? You know, when you're a newbie, uh, and you install, you just install Mint, and you you're like, what the fuck? 
uh, how do I do some of these things you don't know you go here and you ask the people see that you can chat with them and that's great uh, I wish the Ubuntu does that but uh, they don't and another thing that used to annoy me uh, let's say uh, you know before I search for something um, they didn't have this up here the images or that other crap that's why I hated mint in the past I'm like fuck man I, I searched the web and then I want to search the images right but they didn't it, it doesn't have any of the crap uh, I don't know about these this crap over here but uh, that's pretty cool uh, they added more than I wanted so that's good okay but that's there now and that's the add-on uh, for mint and firefox so that's good and what else Let's see there it is um okay th this is something I still hate because um mint is known for you know easiness and um and, and you know elegance and everything but when you try to add uh, a PPA or a repositories you gotta do it the hard way because there is no program right now that, that on mint that actually does that and that annoys the shit out of me you know in Ubuntu they have the software sources and that shit is pretty easy okay uh, in mint they took that shit out and they have nothing nothing okay and you know what get to work on that you know that's what I need that's what people need if they want to add a repositories they probably have to use the terminal right now um, and that that's what I really hate okay um, so that's what they're missing in my opinion but uh, everything else is uh, pretty straightforward um, all the programs are just all for you even the, the MS core fonts and all that shit so that's perfect um, if you're a newbie and everything and uh, this program um, for all the people asking me um, when are you going back to mint I'm back now bitches okay so don't ask me anymore um, so I, like I said mint is probably the best uh, distro and I wish Ubuntu would take some ideas from mint you know even there there's this splash screen everything looks nice okay so that's that